And so I like to kind of create my own surreal universe and tell a story with my work. Born in Tucson, Arizona, and a recent college graduate, 27-year-old Allison Hutto is the youngest artist to be featured in our series. I've been interested in art since I was a really young kid. That's pretty much coloring was the only thing I could focus on for over a couple minutes at a time. So um, I've been drawing and painting for the majority of my life. And uh, a couple of years ago, I became interested in photography. Uh, so we try and pull your arms out forward some. Her photographs. <laughs> always tell a story, oftentimes with a skewed take on reality. What I like about photography is I can kind of immediately create my own universe and I like to do a lot of surreal and narrative kind of work. There is um, work that I did recently where I uh, took a bunch of Barbie dolls and then like dismembered them and like broke them into a bunch of pieces and I uh, had a friend lay in a bathtub and then put all like the broken pieces in water above her and had her kind of like thrash around like underneath that. Allison's creative process is pretty straightforward. It's one that begins with her sketchbook. I write a lot of poetry and I just write in general a lot. And uh, so I usually spend a week or two just uh, writing out thoughts or just anything that's bothering me at the moment or just any ideas that I have. And then I go back through and uh, I try and come up with ways that I can that I can make that a visual idea and that I can transform that into something visual whether it be uh, painting or installation or photography. She invited us onto the set of her latest series, which takes an in-depth look at human relationships, specifically the challenges of intimacy and the fear of getting too close to someone else. I'm going to be putting two people together and then wrapping string around them and having them try and pull away from each other, but then the string is gonna still keep them tied to each other. People get close to each other, but not too close. And then the resistance that can come from when you do actually get close to a person and you don't want to be, or I guess the ways that people can try and fight having other people know them as well as, as they would not like, you know? There's a point in every work where you look at it and you say, okay, this is it, this is right, and this is what I've been working towards. And it's, there's, there's no real like formula to determine when you get to that point. It's just a feeling that you have where you feel satisfied with what you've done. Having received a formal arts education from Auburn University, Allison hopes to attend graduate school. Life beyond the classroom, she says, has its new set of challenges. Well, my dad actually was an art major, so they kind of understood, I guess. <laughs> But uh, I was, actually was in the business school for a couple of years because I was trying to be realistic about everything. And you know, okay, well, I've got to support myself after this, but it was miserable. It wasn't, it wasn't me. And that side of my brain doesn't function correctly. It's a new camera. I haven't exactly figured out how to use it yet. <laughs> so no one's telling you what's good and what isn't anymore. So now you have the pressure of trying to determine for yourself what's actually working and what isn't working and that can be a lot more difficult. And then also like setting your own goals and setting your own deadlines and like waking up and knowing that you have to, that regardless of whether this is due and if you're gonna get an A or not, you still have to go make it happen throughout the day. It can get really frustrating at times <laughs> because I guess because there's, it's not a math problem where you reach the correct answer and then you're done. And so yeah, there are definitely times when I've wanted to quit because it just, things get frustrating and you think that this is never going to work out the way that you want it to. Uh, I think that having a formal arts education can expand your thought of what art is. I think that I went into it thinking that, or just, you know, drawing and painting and doing like the traditional art mediums, and I didn't really think of more of abstract mediums as art. Um, I, or I guess a couple semesters ago I did uh, a sculpture installation where I like vacuum sealed a bunch of stuffed animals and different objects into little bags and then displayed them on the wall. And I think that was, or to me, that was one of the most fulfilling artworks that I've done. And I want to advance as an artist and just build with what I've already been working on. I guess, um, I guess I'm kind of worried that, like a lot of people do, like once you graduate, it'll end there. And I just, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I think art's definitely a form of therapy for me. Um, I guess a lot of people probably get more from laying on a couch and talking to somebody for a while. But I, 
I can solve a lot of my problems by writing it out and then coming up with a way to draw it or to photograph it or to put it in some sort of visual medium. Everything that I do, I'm trying to present a different idea. And a lot of what, a lot of the work that I do is me relaying issues that I have or personal struggles into an artwork as like a form of therapy. And I think that artwork, that that for me is more of why I make art than other people, how other people perceive it. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna have to get you to like slowly hop back to the <laughs> One wish that I have for my career. Um, I just want more people to see my artwork, I guess. Like, I, I enter a lot of exhibitions and stuff, and like, I've been in a lot of, or some exhibitions, but I guess I just want more people to see my work.